Tonight on Chivalry, the Baron of Country Music, Dick Curlis, with special guests Rick Curlis and Bill Chenick. song here that uh, means a lot to me spiritually because of when I was flat on my back I uh, kind of put things together with this song it's an old Ivory Joe Hunter thing you can think of it spiritually or passionately or whatever way you want to think of it it's a very pretty song I think you might remember it since I met you baby my whole life has changed yes it has now since I met you baby my whole life has changed everybody tells me that I don't need nobody to tell my troubles to only you. I don't need nobody to tell my troubles to Since I met you, baby, all I need is you.
met you, baby. I'm a happy man. Yes, I am. Since I met you, baby. Try to please you every way that I can. That I can. I met you, baby, my whole life has changed. Everybody tells me that I'm not the same. Curlis was born on March 17, 1932, in Fort Fairfield, Maine. His early music training came from his father and the recordings of Josh White and Jimmy Rogers. He began his professional career at the age of 17 and made his first recording at 18. From 1952 until 1954, Dick did a tour of duty with Armed Forces Radio in the Far East. Then, in 1957, he won the Arthur Godfrey Talent Scout television show and began recording on a number of labels. But his first big New England hit, Tombstone Every Mile, came in 1964 on his own Allagash record label. Capitol Records signed Dick and released Tombstone to the nation, where it went to the top ten and stayed for 11 weeks. After Tombstone, Dick went on a nationwide tour with the Buck Owens All-American Music Show, a tour that took him from the Hollywood Bowl to a three-encore performance at Carnegie Hall. Since then, Dick's recordings have seldom missed the national charts in Billboard, Cashbox, and Record World. There have been numerous articles done on him in nationwide magazines, and his fan club is worldwide. He has over 30 albums out, both in the U.S. and abroad, and in 1973, he was installed in the Walkway of Stars in the Country Music Hall of Fame in Nashville, Tennessee. 
But life for Dick hasn't been, as one of his songs goes, a bed of roses. The hard life of a road entertainer led to heavy drinking and eventually to illness. So he quit Capitol Records and returned to Maine to turn himself around. He now lives on an 80-acre farm outside of Bangor with his family and a collection of antique railroad cars and fire engines. And speaking of family, on this next set of songs, Dick will be joined by his son Rick Curlis and son-in-law Bill Chinook. Bill Chinook is somewhat of a legend in the Northeast, both because of his songwriting and because of his instrumental proficiency. He has two albums out and more on the way. Once again, Dick Curlis. I told you I had some very special guests, and uh, this one here I've been kind of saving for the for the middle of the program where I uh, like to pick and grin with this guy and other fellow that I've come to know and love so very much. My son first, of course, and then we got my son-in-law, Bill Chinnick. Nice to have you here. It's nice to be here. We do this in the we do this in the kitchen when we're at home, you know, on the farm. We get together and. Not as often as I'd like, because we're both on on the road and busy. He's gone a lot, doing real good. Bill Chinnick and his blues. So we'll do some. I appreciate you coming down with old Dad here. Because, Love to uh, be here. Love to be here. <laughs> this is a thing here that uh, I don't mind telling you the truth. I used to do a few things till I smartened up. But I was uh, while I was on the road, I got an idea to do this thing out in Montana, and uh, we'll do it our way. And I need the help of the. Uh, Guys and girls here to help me a little bit. This is uh, called Columbus Stockade Blues. Way down in Columbus, Georgia, I want to be back in Tennessee. Way down in Columbus, Stockade. Turn their backs on me. You can go, go and leave me if you want to. Never let me cross your mind. Who's in your heart? You love another. Leave me, little darling. Love. 
love is Georgia. I want to be back in Tennessee. Nashville's good enough for me. And down in Columbus, Stalking. All my friends have turned their backs on me. You can't go. Go and leave me. Leave me if you want to. Never, 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 never. Let me cross your mind. Cause in your heart, you love another. Leave me, little darling. This here is a special song for me with a special couple guys here that uh, <laughs> we have a lot of fun. We really do, and I, uh, I, uh, I'm awful proud to have this down for posterity. Uh, you better get a room. <laughs> no, here's a song here that uh, where my heart and mind is uh, is straight and narrow like it should be uh, because of. Uh, because of Jesus, I like to do this song here because I'm nuts about trains and because I'm nuts about life. And I would love to be here, especially with you two guys. Rick Curlis, my son, and Bill. Let's do this one for, uh, let's do it for Pauline, your mother, my lovely wife, okay? And your wife, my daughter, Terry. And all the folks that like uh, spirituals and hymns, this is one of my favorites. Life is life. Successful from the cradle to the grave. Watch the curve, look out for the tunnels. Never fall to never fail. Keep your hand upon the throttle and your eyes. Blessed Savior, thou shalt guide us till we meet that blissful shore where the angels wait to join us in thy reign forevermore. Blessed Savior, thou shalt guide us till we meet that blissful shore where the angels wait to join us in thy reign forevermore. Where the angels wait to join us in thy reign. Say, I want my mama. 
You gotta holler real loud for your mama. You holler real loud, say, Mama, your mama. Mama told me if I'd be good, that she would buy me another doll. But if you tell her, I kiss the bell, then she won't buy me. Curlis has been a professional musician since he was 11 years old. He began playing on the road with Dick in the Buck Owens All-American Music Show and met all the greats of country music. Since then, he has played with various bands around the United States. He came back to Maine in 1975 to help his father through a serious illness, and the two of them have performed together since then. This next number features Rick with a rendition of a Merle Haggard song that was originally recorded by Lefty Frizzell, both of whom he met when Dick was on the road with them. Life's like poetry and in my poem days Until now there's always been a missing line Life's too short to hide a good thing you feel And I find the morning after The best time to determine if it's real Maybe finding you gave my whole life reason right Cause life's like poetry And in my poem base Until now there's always been a missing line Life's too short to think about 
about right or wrong The only thing I wonder about Is where you've been so long Baby, finding you gave my whole life Reason right Cause life's like in my poem babe. until now there's always been a missing line life's like And in my poem, babe.